Let's just put that here. Oh, much better. Hello, welcome back from Thanksgiving week. I got injured during Thanksgiving weekend, and if you wanna know why or how that happened, I've been doing Vlogmas on my second channel, my vlog channel, it's resurrected from the dead. It's youtube.com slash Nikki, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm attempting Vlogmas, we'll see what happens. Regardless, I just wanted to um, make a video today, and it just is at the worst time to have my face be on a camera. Cuteness is not guaranteed. Some days you're cute, some days you're not cute. And that's just part of the human experience. And today it was a very not cute day for me. I tried, you know, I, tried. I wore a yellow shirt. What more do you want from me? I don't know, there's not much else left. It's just not in the cards. Speaking of cards, it's the holidays and I thought that you might want to learn how to make your cards look better. Oh, wow, she brought it there. I've gotten a lot of requests to do a lettering video after doing several bullet journal videos and sticker videos. A lot of you wanted to know how to get started with lettering and can I just right off the bat say there are thousands and thousands of videos you can watch on YouTube of like professional calligraphers that will do so much better of a job explaining and also their work looks really impeccable and probably a way better source of information for this topic than here on the Nikki Limo channel. However, I do know that sometimes that can be intimidating seeing someone do perfect work. So if you want an amateur ass experience of doing calligraphy, you come to the right place. Hi. I'm not cute. Let's jump into this video. Okay, so let's get into this thing. Excuse me, glasses? Get out of here. Oh yeah, so this is kind of like the gist of what people have been asking me to show them is just like really cutesy freaking writing, okay? If you're like wondering this whole time, what does she mean? But that's it, that's what I mean. I'm gonna go to like a place all the way in the back here to show you. And how can you get closer though? Like, like I said, different pens. Pen. Oh my God, red pen. You. All right. Pens are something you should have if you want to do lettering. These Crayola ones. These uh. These are super cheap. Super tips. Crayola super tips. You can get like a hundred of these for like ten bucks. I'll put links in the description. If you, I mean, I'll try to find them for you, and you can. Look in the description for link, but um, but yeah, these are really, really cheap and good, good for practicing. They have like a nub tip like this. The other type is um, this Tombow dual brush pens. You got the brush tip on this side, and then you got um, this like felt tip, like a pen type thingy on this side. So that's really cute for doing like, like this type of writing, and then you wanna use the other side to do like a cute little quote or something on the side. You know, you can just get really cute with it. I am obsessed with being cute right now since I am not feeling like I am. I think I've said cute like 10,080 times. Crayola, it looks like that. Oh, does that bother some of you? <laughs> it looks like that. Sorry. You could do the fine point tip here and then you, then the big bold tip like that. That's cute. Brush tip. You get way finer lines going up and then way bolder lines going down. But I mean, it's the pretty much the same gist. The other one I like is this one, the Tombow Furunosuke pens. I don't know how to say it. Furunosuke, Furu, Furu, never not, we're giving up. We're stop, mouth, stop trying. These are really cute. They're, they're like just, they're the same type of jam, but they're smaller. I use this for writing the days of the week in my journal all the time. And I like it. Wow, that is. Not great. So we got this mild liner pens. Um, they're not, I don't think they're, they're not that good for doing, I guess you could do calligraphy with them, yeah. Mostly I use these to make other types of fonts. So it's like, you seen that kind of jam? You get it. I also like to have a, a white pen because that's really, that's really cute having a white gel pen because you could do stuff like, like this and then, and then you're like, and then you're like, and then you're like, Wow. Wait, why are you fucking up, pen? All right, usually my white pen does a much better job. It's on vacation right now, I guess. But yeah, there we go. So, 
Are you ready for your first lesson? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do the dual brush pen just because it's easier to show you. But again, you can use the cheap Crayola pens. You don't have to be fancy. Um, I would just practice going, this is what I did like for a day straight. Your upstroke has to be really thin. Thin upstroke. And then your downstroke, very thick. And that's all just like how the pressure is applied. So very light pressure going up, very heavy pressure going down. And then I would just do like a little practice. And then I would practice going down and then up. Down and then up. Well, my, well, I need practice. Just remember, yeah, whenever you go up, it's gonna be light pressure. Whenever you go down, it's gonna be heavy pressure. Circles. Always start going up and then go down over here. That's like a C curve. Or you can go all the way, circles. Yeah, we're killing this. And just to show you with, you know, the Crayola, you can do all of this with the Crayola too. And then same with the foot in the sucky. This is the first thing I would do. The second thing I would do is um, watch alphabet videos over and over and over and over again. There's so many different ways to write each letter and you just like have to find the style that like you really like. So for example, an A could be like this or an A could be like that. I personally like the ones that start with a down stroke and then go up, so it's like, Hey. Hey. I love D's. Love me some D. <laughs> like that. It's like that, okay? E, yeah. Don't judge me, okay? That can be an E. That's my E. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Just getting progressively worse. Eat shit. Then what, another thing that I would like to bring up, I can do a word like, let's say, let's just write what we've been writing, which is hello. Okay, so that's like very straight across, right? And you know how sometimes you're watching videos, or maybe it's just me that watches calligraphy videos, but you're watching videos and you're like, wait, but they, theirs looks like so bouncy and fun. It's because of the lines that they're on. So this line, picture, picture, this line, we're looking between these two lines, everything's on a straight line, right? Um, when you're doing a bouncy word, you just want everything to hit different lines. That's not my best. I hate the word hello. That's more bouncy, right? Cause it's like, we got some up here, the other B is down there, the lows are here and then here and then here and then here and then the mids are like down here down here up here yeah so it's just bouncy let me just show you a page of my personal favorite fonts that i use quite often we're gonna go through these real fast we're gonna zip through them a real simple thing to do also is to have your word and then I just do like a little line around it. This is also really similar to a drop shadow. Or you can do a combination of those two, which is like... Then you add a drop shadow to that. Maybe even in a different color, like say red. And you add it to the line instead of the actual word. Okay, we got interrupted for a second. Also, can you hear my heavy breathing? Cause I had to go downstairs to get a camera battery. Oh my God, I'm the worst. All right, so that's a cute one. 
Um, I mean, I didn't do it the best. I didn't do it the best, okay? But I love it. Um, another one I really, really like to do, but it works better if it's like a light color. So I'll use the mild liners for this, but it is when you go. I like doing that for like headers. Like if I was like goals, it would be like that. See like right there, it's like sticky stream. I'll just put it in my planner like that. Here's another one of my favorites. Again, it's like just blocky letters. And then, and this one's so fast, that's why I like it. And then you just like bubble letter, just like kind of to the side, not even like right on top of it, just like you're like whatever fuck it mode. And like, it just gives a really like cute hand-drawn quality to it that's not perfect. That's like, I'm cutesy, I'm artsy. Hello, I'm artsy, I'm Zoe Deschanel. I sing an indie rock band. I'm like cute, I put buttons on everything and I wear glasses. So like, that's what that reminds me of. And I wanna be adorable, I wanna be cute. Did I mention today that I wanna be cute? Cause that's how I wanna be. I just wanna be remembered as cute. This is what you can do with a, again, with a dual brush pen. This was done in this and then this was done in this, boom. like rushed through this. I could have taken my time a bit more and made it look nicer. All of you people that have crazy symmetry issues and need everything to be perfect are not gonna like any of this. You can make it perfect on your own. I'm just giving you the tools, baby. The tools to have a cute journal, a cute life. Not a cute face necessarily. sad without a drop shadow. Maybe I should add a drop shadow to this. Maybe I'm about to ruin this whole thing, but maybe I'll be making it better. And that's what happens a lot of times to me is that I think I might make something better and then I just ruined everything that I had going for me. Oh, and lettering too. That was about life. Cute! If someone doesn't like your damn card that looks like this, they can go fuck themselves. Oh, also a lot of grandmas um, tuned into my last <laughs> DIY video with about stickers and then they left comments that were like, I would stay if it wasn't for your trash, filthy mouth. Um, and I'm like, how, why would you come to this channel for crafts? It's not good crafts. I love you. My, look at my hands cute. I love, I love you. And I hope you're having a wonderful, holiday season. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you want, again, if you want to see like some way better people do this, I'll link in the description. Also, uh, doing Vlogmas every day until Christmas on my vlog channel. Check it out, youtube.com slash Nikki. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And I'll see you next time, bye.